Welcome back to Math 171 Precalculus Algebra. In this video, we're going to take a look at using the definition of a logarithm to solve logarithmic equations. So we'll take as an example the problem log base 4 of x plus 3 is equal to 2. So, definition of the logarithm says this is the same thing as 4 to the second power is equal to x plus 3. 4 to the second power is 16. And then we can subtract 3 from both sides and we get 13 is equal to x. Now there is one thing that is very important here is that with a logarithmic equation, checking your work is actually mandatory. So, I'll go ahead and check. So the log base 4 of 13 ah, <laughs> plus 3 we're checking to see if that equals 2. So that's log base 4 of 16. We want to make sure it's 2. Log base 4 of 16 is 2. That indeed equals 2. So it checks. But there are going to be situations that we don't get that. So, for example, we could get a little bit more complicated of an equation. Log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x minus 7 is equal to 3. So, we'll go ahead. First things first, we need to get this into a single logarithm. So we'll use the product rule to do that. Log base 2 of x squared minus 7. Going, I'm sorry, minus 7x. Going ahead and multiplying that together is equal to 3. And now we can apply the definition of the logarithm. x squared minus 7x is equal to 2 to the third. Or x squared minus 7x is equal to 8. We'll subtract 8 from both sides. So x squared minus 7x minus 8 equals, to z equals 0. So we get x minus 8 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x minus 8 equals 0. x plus 1 equals 0. So we get x equals 8. x equals negative 1. But we do need to plug these back into the original. So for the 8, log base 2 of 8 plus log base 2 of 8 minus 7. We want to make sure that's equal to 3. Well, log base 2 of 8 is 3. 8 minus 7 is 1, and log base 2 of 1 is 0. And we indeed get that 3 is equal to 3. So 8 is okay, but what about the negative 1? So log base 2 of negative 1 plus log 
base 2 of negative 1 minus 7. We want to make sure that's equal to 3. Well, we kind of briefly made mention of it, but it is important now. The log of a negative number is not defined. So, this is not defined. So, therefore, negative 1 cannot be a correct answer. We'll cross that out. The only correct answer here is x is equal to 8. So that concludes this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at a different method that we can use when we have logarithms on both sides of an equation.